Scene 1, I am a spokesperson for the election office. I'll talk to a voter about why and how we check election results. How to get reforms. Observe, comment, campaign. We did a risk-limiting audit. The risk-limiting audit confirmed the results of the election. I'm a voter. I'm glad you're limiting risk, but how was the election at risk? Without checking, election totals could have errors or be hacked. I thought voting machines were safe because they never connect to the Internet. Staff at the manufacturer or election office can accidentally let errors or malware get into election machines. Errors and malware are bad. Researchers have hacked every kind of election machine they've had access to. Hacking is bad. Updates for each election can put hacks and errors into election machines. I cannot say updates are bad. I know you have to update the candidates for each election. And computers need security updates. With thousands of election offices, and dozens of candidates in each, I understand there can be errors. The Brennan Center found hundreds of errors nationwide. Okay, now you showed me why I need to worry. What can I do? Go to the election office or our webcam, and see how we process the election. If you see mistakes, tell a supervisor. In many states, a campaign or a group can do additional checks. Can anyone watch? Rules depend on the state. There's a link to state rules and citizen groups at votewell.net. I'll watch at least once. And I'll find one of the groups in my state. If you want to be more involved, volunteer for a candidate you like, and ask the campaign to monitor and check how my office processes the ballots. Or ask someone you know to run for office, or run yourself. I'll look for a campaign I can help. You said you check the results of the election. Do you check all the contests on our ballots? Is that expensive? We only checked one or two contests. Does checking a couple of contests show that the other contests are right? Different software errors could affect each contest. So we don't claim to have checked the other contests. You audited because you thought results could be wrong. Do you worry about wrong results in all the other contests? Some contests are very close. Our audit system is expensive on close contests, so we don't check them, unless someone pays for a recount. Does the state tell you what to check? The state told us to check the outcomes in just one or two contests. Well I worry about all the contests, especially the local ones that control my schools and law enforcement. Yes, all contests matter. We do test all the election machines before the election. That sounds good. How do you test machines before the election? We call it a logic and accuracy test. We create test ballots with votes in every contest. We marked the votes on these test ballots, so we know what the results should be. We run these test ballots through every election machine. If a machine gives wrong results, we repair the machine and test again. Great. So you know the machines work before the election. Remember when Volkswagen cars had low pollution and emission tests, but high pollution on the road? The car computers could tell when it was a test. Can election machines recognize the test deck, from its size, or date? We have about the same number and type of test ballots each election, and the election machines do have internal clocks to know what day it is. So a hacked machine might know when it's a test. The test is primarily to check for our programming errors or mechanical problems. I'm glad you do it. 
It still seems important to check the real ballots from the actual election were tallied right. Can you scan the ballots to give anonymous copies to the parties and public? Then they can check all the tallies? Yes, election machines scan all the ballots. And yes, more and more places give copies of the anonymous scanned ballots to the public. If all states published anonymous ballots, more people could check and have confidence in the results. Do say, trust but verify. Don't say, why did hackers elect those people? Scene 2, I am from another election office. I'll talk to a voter about hand counting and deterrence. Big samples being more reliable than small. Using and checking electronic copies of ballots. Election machines counted all our ballots, batch by batch, and we hand counted 2% of the batches to check the election machines. What is a batch? A batch can be the ballots from a polling place, or a few hundred mailed ballots which were scanned as a batch. So if you had 40,000 ballots, in batches of 400, that's about 100 batches. Yes, and we hand counted 2%, that's 2 batches. What can you learn from 2 batches? Here's an example. Suppose a scanner error or hacker changed 10 of the 100 batches. They might shift 100 ballots per batch from one candidate to another with no one noticing. So your example switches 100 ballots in each of 10 batches. That changes 1000 ballots, which can take 1000 votes from one person to add 1000 votes to another. That would reverse the winning margin by 2000 votes. Our audit of two batches has a 19% chance of catching them. This will deter people from trying. If they get caught, they'll go to jail. The risk of arrest isn't a big deterrent. People already find occasional errors. People explain them as accidents, like misprinted ballots, and software errors. Well, I agree it's hard to prove something's a hack, not an accident. Even if a hack is ever proven, and someone is convicted, penalties are too small to deter a serious hacker, 0 to 21 months of prison, and a 2000 to 75000 dollar fine. I didn't know penalties were so light. Still, if we catch problems, we do correct them even if no one gets convicted. Yes, I'm glad you do check and correct problems you find. You said checking two batches had a 19% chance of finding the problem in your example. We need something better than a system with 81% chance of missing the problem. How can we do better? We can spend more to hand count 20 batches instead of two. When a problem happens in 10% of batches, like my example, we need to hand count 20 batches to have a 90% chance of finding the problem. Some people like hand counting and would be happy to see you hand count 20 batches, or even more. Other people think it would be too slow and expensive. Is there another way? Election machines scan all ballots. We can put those scans online, so the parties and public can check all contests on all ballots. They can check by hand or by computer. I like that. So the parties and public can pay for all the checks they want. Can we trust those electronic scans that the parties and public are checking? We can also hand check some of those scans against the paper ballots to be sure the scans are trustworthy. Do the scan ballots show how someone voted? No. Ballots are anonymous. Even so, 
if state law restricts ballot copies, we might be able to share copies under a non-disclosure agreement. That would be cheaper than checking all contests yourself. Do say, we're open to new ways. Don't say, we've always done it this way. Tradition Scene 3, as an election official, I'll talk to a candidate about Seals and locks Checking before ballots go into storage Knowing when scanned ballots are reliable I am a candidate When you check elections, what do you check against? What's truth? We check against the sealed boxes of paper ballots, from lock storage. Have you seen the YouTubes about lock picking, children bypassing seals, and Russians hacking security cameras? Well, at least foreigners can't break in from abroad. Could local crooks sneak in? For foreigners, or for their own purposes? We make people sign in and out. I appreciate you have a good sign-in system. If crooks sneak in, they won't sign in. You're right. We use the best security we can, and no security is perfect. Our country has a long history of people changing ballots when they're in storage. No one here would mess with the stored ballots. I trust you and me. I'm not sure about everyone else. I appreciate your trust. You told a voter that election machines make electronic scans of all ballots. Can you compare these scans to the ballots, before ballots go into storage, to be sure the scans are accurate? Yes. Verified voting says it's ideal to use ballots to check election records the same day we get the ballots. Until ballots go into storage, volunteers from my campaign and my opponent's campaigns are watching, so no one can mess with the ballots. If we can scan ballots, and check scans, throughout early voting, it spreads out the workload. I like spreading out the workload. For election day ballots, we'll need extra time or extra people. That's better than squeezing all our checks between election day and certification. I like having a lot of the data checked before you release results on election night. If we hand check one in a thousand ballots, or one in a hundred, we're checking as many as a risk-limiting audit. So you can check paper ballots to see if the ballots were scanned right. How do you make sure those scans don't get hacked later? When we create each electronic file, it has a unique hash value, which reflects the file contents. It's like a digital signature. So if someone changes the file, would the hash value change? Yes. When we create each file, we can give its hash value to the press, parties, candidates, and the public. So the press, and candidates like me, can keep those original hash values. Later on, if a file has the same hash value, does that mean it's a good copy? Yes. The hash values tell us if electronic files stay the same or change. There's no similar way to detect changes in paper files. Do say, vote on paper ballots. Don't say, which are the best YouTubes on lock picking. Scene 4, as an election official. I'll talk to a software company about audit software. Checking if audit software works right. I run a software company. Let me ask this. If errors or hackers changed the election winners, would the risk-limiting audit tell us? Yes. 
We use state-of-the-art open-source software. And the audit software can't be hacked when it's running? If the audit software is hacked, someone would notice. Can we check? Not directly. In our risk-limiting audits, people type the results, at each step of the audit, directly into the software, and there's no independent record, if the software has errors or hacks. Can people watch the audit and see everything? Usually in these audits, the public cannot see the ballots or what's being typed. And in many places you cannot see the cast vote records which are the basis of the audit. So who would notice if the audit software is hacked, to hide errors in the election? For these audits which don't have paper records, the only checks come from people who have copies of the scanned ballots, and check them. Do say, we trust our elected officials. Don't say, don't sweat the small stuff. Scene 5, as an election official, I'll talk to a local elected official about whether public data can be misused. Telling truth from fiction. Why states don't check elections more? I'm a local elected official. If the parties or the public get copies of scan ballots to count, can they cause trouble by reporting false counts? People already can, and do, lie. Public copies let us prove it's a lie. How will you prove who's lying? When challengers take evidence to court, the court needs to tell them to post online their subtotals for each precinct. So they have to show where they found mistakes. Yes. And in the precinct with the biggest difference from official totals, challengers need to show tallies and scans of all ballots. Then the public and court can check if their scans and tallies are accurate. If that checks out, it sounds like they have an honest case. Winner and loser then will check enough other precincts to see whose totals are right. If they don't present information to court, they need to be condemned. Would it save confusion if you don't let anyone check? Sounds like an invitation to crooks to pick some elected officials, and no one will check. Just let officials check. Okay. Give them the budget. However, even if you ask officials, they probably don't trust the skill and honesty of every other official nationwide. Like any group, 99% are great. Big counties have hundreds of officials. Some of them have enough access to create mistakes in official reports, which we need to catch. Yes, we need to let the public check our work. I have a question for you. For decades, experts have warned about the risk of errors in election results, and the benefits of checking. Why haven't legislatures adopted more thorough checks? Elected officials have been elected under the current system. So they think it works pretty well. After all, the system elected them, and it elected many other members of their party. I guess any doubts aren't a priority to election winners. In each election, some losers may doubt results. Most winners trust the results. Winners are in charge after every election. So getting better ways to check election results would be a low priority for them. There's also a taboo among candidates and reporters. Don't discourage confidence in voting. That used to work when very few people questioned the results. Now, people have already lost confidence. The Pew Research Center found that only 13% of Republicans and 4% of Democrats were very confident that election systems are secure from hacking and other technological threats. So we need evidence to re-establish confidence. Democratic systems depend on people voting and seeing that the count is accurate. Do say, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Don't say, security by obscurity.
remember. Why check election results? To catch and correct mistakes. To protect elections from false charges. How can we check election results? Public can go watch all steps. Release scanned ballots, to parties and the public. Join a group in your state. A list of groups working for better elections is at votewell.net.